Remember this video? Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you do. It is the video that put me on the map and helped launch my channel. And I would like to thank everyone for that video success. However, that video isn't good. And as so many of you kindly pointed out in the comments, there are a lot of errors. That was the first YouTube script I ever completed and the third video I ever edited. So it makes sense why the quality isn't all there. So as a way to make up for that video not being so great and to feed the algorithm a similar video, I decided to go down the list and do an in-depth look at some of the more popular dairy types. So welcome to everything you need to know about the tsundere. First, let's talk about the meaning of the word. Tsundere is a combination of the words sun sun and dere dere. Sun sun is an onomatopoeia for turning your back on someone, something I got wrong in the previous video. An equivalent in English would be a humph sound. Sun sun can also be used as an adverb to mean morosely, aloofly, or off-puttingly. This is in reference to the initial attitude of the character, where the character in question will act cold and standoffish towards their love interest. Dere dere means love struck, and it describes how the character acts at the end of their arc, where they are very sweet and affectionate. This juxtaposition of personalities is the key point of gap moe, which the tsundere falls into. Moe is something that you might have heard before in reference to very cutesy shows, but what is it exactly? Moe is described in the Oxford Dictionary. Wait, the Oxford Dictionary? We got moe in the dictionary? Score one for the weebs. Anyway, the accepted authority of the English language defines moe as the quality in a fictional female character of being youthfully innocent and vulnerable in an idealized way, perceived as eliciting feelings of affection or protectiveness. Put simply, it is describing that you have feelings of affection towards a certain character. Moe can be defined as anything from pure romantic attraction to mild sexual attraction. It all depends on how much of a neckbeard you have. The way that the tsundere elicits this response is by having a huge difference, or gap, in the behavior of the character over time. The character starts in the soon stage, where they are the harshest, hiding their feelings with insults and sometimes physical violence. Then they will start to act confused, wrestling with their own feelings as they start to slowly fall in love. Next comes the embarrassed stage, where the moe factor is cranked up a notch. This is where you see a lot of blushing, and you will start to see some sweetness poking through. And finally, the last stage is full dare, where they will finally admit their feelings and sometimes even confess, depending on the show. This is the basic structure of how a tsundere works, but it isn't how it goes every time. There are many different templates for tsundere to fit into. There is the basic template, where the tsundere will call the love interest idiot or baka until they are able to figure out their own feelings. You have seen this character thousands of times because it is the most common, making these characters the most cliché of all the tsundere. Then there is the disciplinarian, who are in a position of power and will punish their love interest if they do something wrong. No, not punish in that way, you perv. This type is very similar to the basic template, but these characters actually have the potential to make their love interest resent them, which is not something that happens with the basic tsundere. This is because it can seem that the love interest is being targeted. Then we have the Shauna clone. Now, you might be asking, who the f*** is Shauna? Well, Shauna is in reference to Shauna from the light novel series Shakugan no Shauna, or Burning-Eyed Shauna in English. Shauna is very mean to the main character at the beginning of the series, and will constantly tell him Urusai, or shut up three times whenever he says something she doesn't like. Because of her popularity, a lot of characters are direct copies of her. These characters are teenage girls who are older than they look, but not necessarily lollies, there is a difference, have long hair with a gothic lolita style and a complex over their small breasts, which TV Tropes describes as a cup angst. Oh my god, that is the funniest thing I have ever heard. I am using this term exclusively from now on. And lastly, there are some tsundere who have a tragic past, which is pretty self-explanatory. These characters had an awful experience in the past, which they use to justify their behavior. A lot of tsundere have this element, but sometimes the tragic past is much more important to their character, so it gets its own template. 
So that was an explanation of what the Sundre is, but when and how did the word Sundre come about? The first appearance of the word was on the Japanese forum Suspicious World on August 29th, 2002. Users were discussing the character of Ayu Daikuji from the visual novel Kimiga Nozuma Ian, nailed it, which directly translates to The Eternity You Desire, but you might know it by the anime name Rumbling Hearts. Gotta love English localization. The users said that they liked the soon soon dare dare parts of Ayu's character. This terminology is in reference to a lot of things that would become mainstays of the Sundre trope, like the oh ho ho laugh, her sharp tongue, her sarcasm, and her overall appearance. Twin tails are a must for a Sundre. The two words of soon soon and dare dare eventually combined together to be one word, and the word remained exclusive in forum chats for several years before becoming more culturally relevant in 2006 appearing in Maid Cafe promotions, and even being nominated as Japan's buzzword of the year. There is some debate as to who the first tsundere is. The earliest example of a character exhibiting tsundere traits is Lum from 1978's Urusa Yatsura. 1978? That's like, practically the Stone Age. Lum is very beautiful and therefore gets hit on all the time, but always rejects them because she is committed to the main boy, Ataru. Aw, wholesome. She is so committed, in fact, that if anyone is mean to Atru, she attacks them with electric shocks. Ah, not wholesome. This violence is what marks her as a tsundere. However, she is very open about her love towards Atru, which is different to how most tsundere operate. Which is why some like to point towards Madoka Ayukawa from Kimegure Orange Bzz Road, which is from 1984. This is six years after Urusa Yatsura, but the character of Madoka fits the typical Sundre framework a bit better than Lum. She is outwardly very violent, but this is all in order to hide how sad and lonely she is. This is something you see all the time in other Sundre characters. They will always have a reason as to why they act the way they do, whether it be a tragic backstory like I mentioned earlier, or a bad home life. But just like Monica, they will be very sweet and kind when you get to know them. Monica definitely fits the typical Sundre mold the best, but Lom's existence does show that there are many different types of Sundre. We've talked a lot about the basic Sundre already, and this is one of the default moods for the Sundre. But there is another default mood, which is Dere Soon. The Dere Soon is a character that starts out as sweet and loving, but gets violent when provoked. This is the opposite of the Sundre, and is the reason why the word is backwards. Mind-blowing, I know. This is a good way to describe Lum from earlier, where she admits to being in love but is still violent, which makes her Sunsun. And since she gets violent with lightning, that also makes her a Biridere. Biridere was coined in 2009 as a way to describe Misaka Mikoto from the series A Certain Magical Index. The main boy in that series calls her Biribiri, which is the onomatopoeia of an electric shock so fans can bind the nickname with the archetype of Sundre, which Mikoto fits into, and coin the phrase Biridere. Alternatively, the name can be Zingdere as well, because the term Biridere appears in the best harem ever, 100 Girlfriends, and the English subtitles translated to Zingdere. Is this a super specific character type? Yes. Is it the only specific character type? No. Next, we have the Gondre who are characters that shoot the one they love with guns. This type is similar to the Biridere, where it exists because of one specific character. In the case of the Gondore, the character in question is Misato Tachibana from the comedy series Nichijo. Misato's whole shtick is that she hides her crush on Sasahara by shooting him. Sounds like some random Texas dude's dream woman. You might remember these characters from my previous video, but you may also remember that I referred to them as the Gondore, well, Gundere is the Western term for these characters, using the English word gun, instead of the katakanization of the word being gone. And since things can't be easy, there is actually another type that is called the Gundere. The actual Gundere are characters who are very militaristic and are the commanding officer of the love interest. This would fit the disciplinarian template that we talked about earlier. The gun in this name is actually the Japanese word for army, which is way too on the nose. These characters don't know how to show affection like the basic Sundre, but instead of using violence, these characters turn into drill sergeants. 
these characters don't literally need to be in the military, they just need to be in a superior position to their love interest. A good example is Mitsuki Yano from Yuri Is My Job. And that is the name of the anime, not me describing my YouTube channel. Yano is the senpai to Hime, and Hime messes up often while serving customers. And since Yano is training Hime, she has to make sure she is doing her job correctly. And Yano can be a little harsh with Hime, causing Hime to believe that Yano doesn't like her. But we all know what the first word in the title means. Soon Dora is next, and the Dora part of the name doesn't come from Josuke Part 4 Stan Cry or that one famous Latina explorer. It actually comes from the word Dorai, being the katakanization of the English word dry. This describes characters who are dry and emotionless. This is very similar to the Kudere, who are also cold and distant, but the Sundora are so cold that they appear to have no emotion at all. The origin of this name comes from the Bakemonogatari series, where Senju Gahara describes herself as a Sundere, but Araragi retorts that she should be called a Sundora, making a pun with the word for tundra to describe how frigid she can be. Another example is Ryunosuke Octagawa, Bungo Stray Dogs reference! He appears very detached and distances himself from his subordinates, but when provoked, he is quick to anger and can get violent, which leads to the soon part of the character. The soon pure is another specific character type named in an anime. The seventh episode of the anime Shomen Sample is named the soon pure inner element. This episode is named after the character Aika Tenkubashi, who is the catalyst behind this type. Aika is a childlike girl who talks about others behind their backs, which distances her from them. However, she really wants to be popular with everybody. Other soon pure characters are just like this. They are overly honest with and about other people, but not with themselves or their own feelings. They are also super kind, gullible, and pure-hearted, which is where the pure part of the name comes from. There are also many characters that are Sundere combined with another type that also appeared in my previous video. These are the Sun Aho, Sun Shun, and the Sun Tere. We'll start with the Sun Aho, who are combinations of the Sundere and the Aho Dere. The Aho Dere are characters who are really stupid when it comes to love. And because I fear for my own life, Izuku Midoriya is not one of them. If you want a good example of an Aho Dere, Look no further than Yoshiko Hanagatake from Aho Girl, which literally translates to Idiot Girl because Aho means idiot. Soon Aho are characters who try to look like proper Sundere, but end up looking like fools. This is a good way to look at characters who are parodying the Sundere trope like Saki Saki from Girlfriend Girlfriend or Karane from 100 Girlfriends. These characters are Sundere, but you aren't meant to fall in love with the Sundere side. You are meant to laugh at it. Not to say that you can't love Karane, because I do, it's just that the whole point is that she is meant to be laughed at, where a lot of other Sundere characters are meant to be taken seriously. The Sun Shun are combinations of the Sundere and the Shundere. The Shundere are characters who are really sad, with Shun being the onomatopoeia for someone being sad. And if you want to hear me make the noise, go back and watch the last video. I'm not doing it again. The Sun Shun are characters that get sad because they can't be honest about their feelings of affection. You may have heard of this term as the Sun Heko before, with Heko coming from Hekomu, which means sad or disappointed in Japanese. The reason for the two terms is because they were both created in reference to the same character, Himeya Rizakura, from Yozakura Quartet. The author of that series referred to her as a Sun Heko, but the author of Dorarara called her a Sun Shun. Do you think these guys had beef over this? If so, where are the diss tracks? Another example is Ririchio Shirakin from Inuboku SS, if anyone has heard of that. This video has taught me about a lot of anime I have never heard of. Looks like I have a lot of catching up to do. The last specific type we will talk about is the Sun Tere. The Tere part of the name comes from the Tere Dere, which I refer to as the Haji Dere in my last video, which is the Western term for the type. The Tere Dere are characters who get extremely embarrassed around their crush, just like me whenever I talk to a female cashier. The difference with the Sun Tere is that when these characters get embarrassed, they start acting Sundre, which is something that happens with a lot of the other Sundre characters, but not all Sundre are Sun Tere. Sun Tere are less aggressive than normal Sundre and can feel immediately remorseful if they feel like they were too mean. 
A good example is Isaku from A Girl and Her Guard Dog. Ugh, I thought I was done with this series. Isaku often gets mad at her guardian, Kea, and will act mean towards him, but will always regret it and go to her room and cry. By the way, don't watch this. She is 16, he is 24. That is probably all I need to say. And that is everything you need to know about the Sundre. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And also, watch some of my other videos too. With that, Sayonara.